I can do about this mess you're in. Oh, thank you. We'd really appreciate it. Credits are mercy to the fickleness of markets. Repairing. Let's take a look. Any way I can thank you. Just pass it on. Maybe we can make the DMZ a better place. Can't see anything.
destroyed. to impress me. Star signatures in the Say, do you happen to know a brand event from Cephas Downs? Ha! Huh. If Prepare I hadn't been married to that mantle. bastard, Give I'd me a still break. know that name is belonging to the worst winemaker in the galaxy. He made it common knowledge that grapes grown on Cephas result in nothing more than glorified laxative. How is that fool doing? Uh, I'm afraid he's dead. What? What happened? Uh, I don't know exactly but it seems he got lost in the caves underneath Cephas Downs. His ship had these bottles stored and this message for you. Oh, that bloody fool. He ran off because he wanted to teach the universe the joys of a heavily touched palate, but ended up dying for a shipload of sweetened vinegar. Here, I'll buy the whole load from you. That's a lot of credits. Well, lucky you. Now use it to buy something or leave. I need to pour myself a drink.
located the Raman chef's last known coordinates on the HUD. Changing your strategy from naive questioning to evasive action. I'll be first to shoot him down. I gave you may still be valid. Darius, Maddox, stop! Hive, overclock my boosts, now! Activated unlimited boosting, deactivated devices. Maddox, listen! I don't know how to make it any clearer to you. I ain't your type. Dax asked me to find you. It's the truth. Then what's the code word? I don't know. He died before he could tell me. He's dead? You killed him, didn't you? No, you're getting me all wrong. I'm on your side. I see him. He's trying to lose us in here. He and an entire battalion of outlaw mercenaries, it seems. Don't tell me these are all your guys, Maddox. They are. Came with the job. The smuggling thing? You really ask too many questions, kid. Wasn't that the first question I ever asked him? It may have been. Then he's really not listening at all. I'm not alone anymore. from protecting you. I'm under the protection of Mr. Kato. Dropped him a line, got help. Easy as that. I thought you just moved stuff for him. Maybe I do. And maybe he just really values my work. You can say that again. Post resetting. Cooling down. One second longer, and your engine would have exploded. Scrap, he's getting away! I 
hopped onto your sink, I did my thinking and less drinking and decided that action was the best course. You're doing great. I may not be the best at bargaining or diplomacy, but I make up for it in pew pew. Damn it, I lost my man again. What man? Maddox, like I told you before. You said that he worked for Mr. Cato, not that he was his prize goose. He is? Wow, I didn't know. Then I guess the only way to get to him is through the big man himself. Of course, he might not be too happy that we just blasted a bunch of his squad. Ah, don't worry. They're just hired mercenaries. Expendable. I'm in good with Mr. Cato. You sure about this? Yeah, come on. Let's go see the boss. to make a spider's meal of you. Yeah, and he owes me payment for that job. Besides, I can't really touch him because he's Mr. Kato's nephew. Elec, what are you getting me into? Relax, buddy. It'll be fine. naked walking into a situation like this without a few tons of ship wrapped around me. It'll all be good. Just act cool and follow my lead. Mr. Alec, you were not expected. Are you flirting with me again, Marianne? Me and my associate here would like a word with the boss. Something not, not ex expected. She's crazy about me, really. guys doing? Stop it! Daryl! Give me that remote! You idiot! Alec, you okay? All good, boss. Who the hell is this guy? This is Adam, boss. I brought him in for a chat. He wanted to ask a favor. A favor? You guys are giving me nothing but headaches today. Get inside, all of you! Now let's figure out what's going on, in a civilized manner. Daryl, why the hell did you do this to Alec and his associate? Cause they've been nothing but a pain in the ass. We barely made it out of that spider cave alive. You owe me for that. Hey, yeah, me too. Yeah. Why did you do that without even asking me? The, the guy's been sniffing around after Maddox. Yeah, and who are you exactly? You should know Maddox is under my protection. I just wanted to talk to him. I'm not a bounty hunter, just a friend of a friend. Uh-huh. And you know Alec how, exactly? Oh, me and Adam go way back, before we even met, boss. He's a hotshot pilot. i never seen anything like him. Is that so? But I'm still not too impressed by your imposition into my business. We should just phase him. Shut up! I have to apologize for my nephew. He's still learning the ropes of the business. Saki? Well, really, Daryl should be apologizing for himself. Daryl, 
I'm sorry I sent you guys to your certain deaths, okay? See? All's good and better now. For every problem, there's a lesser problem with a sort of solution, right? Anyway, you guys interrupted my meal with all your antics. These two guys have been at each other's throats since... <clears throat> the short furry one showed up. I don't think there's anything I can do to reconcile them. Ty liked the little guy, but Daryl is family. I'm gonna have to find a way to separate them. So, rather than taking the crude and uncultured path of violence, I'd like to make you a little proposition. I can arrange a meeting with Maddox, but I need you to do a little job for me in return. Do you savvy? As long as it's quick. And something a little more sensitive. You need to take the little furry guy off my hands, too. I understand. Don't worry, I can get him out of your hair. He's not so bad. Hey, I know that. I'm just trying to find amicable solutions. That's my job. But you do understand that there are consequences. If you disappoint me. Likewise. All right. I like this guy's style. What do you know? A real kindred spirit knows his stuff. This time I'll be giving the delivery orders, so there'll be no funny business. Right, Daryl? Right, boss. Okay, so this is the deal. You deliver a little package for me from A to B, and I'll let you know where to find Maddox. So it's a smuggling run. Ooh, now that's one nasty word. Better not let the Okar hear it. They're quite touchy about uncertified cargo moving in and out of their territory. Touchy to a degree, where they just shoot anyone who tries to pass through Smuggler's Wheel and ask questions later. So I recommend getting yourself a distraction for them. I've been told I make a great distraction. That you do, Alec. That you do. Oh, I'm gonna miss having you around. What do you mean? I'll explain later. So where do we start? Meet my contact at the black market in the underbelly. They'll fill you in on the rest. It was a blast having you. Bye-bye, Alec.